Hello family, welcome to this beautiful channel and this is us, we're going to Kampala from Ginger, it's a wall for Howard Drive and this is a famous Nile Bridge, just look at this beauty, oh my god and I was really really surprised by just how the roads look, how green they look, they look like they come from a fairy tale. Just look at all this greenery. Oh my god, driving in the middle of a forest. Oh my god, this fair, I felt like I was in, in heaven. And I was like, I, I wish I had a car, I would have like just stopped it and just stood there to just look at the trees. Only that it's also kind of scary. <laughs> you know. So guys, tell me what you think about like this forest because I was really vaccinated up to now I can't stop thinking about it. Just look at it. <music> Good morning. Uh, how are you? Let's open the window. Let's see what the view of our window. Look at that. Look at that. So this is where we slept. This is my first time I'm seeing this. Oh my God. Good morning, guys. How are you? I'm coming straight out of Kampala, Uganda. And guys, I'm coming out of this apartment where we spent our nights it's near the city look at that oh my god that's why i didn't even sleep last night there was a lot of noise honestly i'm not a person i love nature i'm not a person who loves to be in this chaos and we arrived in kampala from ginger um last night at around 8 pm we had to book the just the, the a BMB that we could find uh, like you know at night you're in a new place you know no one yeah so we booked this this is where we slept it's a nice apartment but for people who love this kind of vibe this would be nice for you the city is just here I don't know the name of this place these are my first impressions of Kampala I really had a good shower here oh my god I think I really mixed i had really missed to take a shower i took a shower for like one hour and uh, this where i slept it's quite a tiny a tiny room but it's comfortable um yeah as you can see this is how it looks they provide mosquito net uh they have a flat screen but the bad thing about this tv is that it can't get to youtube for me a tv like a good tv has to like smart tvs you know and guys we eh, i don't know even my stomach right now it's not so good because of the food i want to show you this meat guys they gave us rotten meat can you imagine we were so hungry we had not eaten the entire day and the best they can do they could do is give us rotten meat can you imagine like like seriously who does that let me just i'm trying to get the torch so that you can see it's rotten look look there is rotten meat like look at this look just look i want you to look here and here here you see that those two parts this was rotten meat honestly i was very disappointed we slept hungry and how they sold us expensive food this food was really expensive we knew it was really expensive but it was late and we could not go to look for food anywhere else so we had to order from the hotel from the hotel of these bmbs and the best they could do give us rotten food you know me, I, I was so hungry. Uh, this is what I had ordered, ugali and beef. 
Kampala, you need to do better. Like Ginger was so good. Ginger Uganda was really good. The hotel that we stayed, it was so nice. The food was fresh. Even in the towns, the food was was fresh. But we've not gone to the to the town in Kampala to know that. But you know, this was the first. You know, first impression really matters. And what really made me even feel even worse is the fact that we go. We went to tell them that the food that they have given us is rotten and can you imagine they tell us that it's because of the spices like it's the spices that we are hearing like feeling like it's rotten like how how does one confuse meat and spices then we ask her so like are you treating us like kid we don't know what we are saying it was really a bad first impression of Kampala I don't know, I'm even scared to go out there because, oh my god, like, the first impression you get is rotten food, honestly. I'm so hungry right now, and because I had eaten some of the beef, the beef is also rotten, it's kind of black. I had not noticed until I was, like, I had taken that bite of the meat. I swallowed it, then on taking another one, I, I felt the smell, it was so bad. You know how rotten meat smells like? and uh, oh my god it was really bad right now my stomach is not so good i wish i wish i could go to the loo but it's not coming <laughs> like guys my stomach is not so good but i have to keep going we need to go out there we're going to look for breakfast i cannot eat in this hotel yeah and uh, how much well it was 22 dollars right yeah, it was $22. Guys, every time we go to a hotel, like to a BNB, and they see that we are two, like they see we are two people, they usually add some money. Like they always add, they say like you are two people you need to add. So we be paying like price for two people. That's how we've been doing it. But this is the smallest one I've said, like it's very squeezed. Oh my god, I've woken up complaining because I think I'm just disappointed <laughs> up to now, like I'm whining a lot. You know, this apartment, it's good. The bed is very comfortable. Like, it's cute. It's really cute. The shower was my favorite, but it's really squeezed. I love space. I love big space. This one is really squeezed. So, today, honestly, we are not going to spend the night here. I can't. They, I just can't. I don't like it, I won't lie. I can't spend a night here. I did not like it because of so many things. The food, first of all, how they talked to us after we informed them about the food, they did not do anything about it. It's so, I'm so hungry and my stomach hurts already because I had eaten some of it. But let's not continue complaining. Let's go. Hey, first impressions of Kampala. We want to go out there and see how it is, how Kampala is, guys. Guys, I've been trying and uh, this good way because, let me go to the light. I mean, it, hey, the room is so small, I'm telling you, look, it's so small. There's no space, I'm telling you. Like, my hair is so, <laughs> like, it's like, now I don't even have time to do my hair. Like my hair is so bad guys, that's why I'm covering it, I've been undoing it, like this is undone, this is undone, so I'm doing it part by part, slowly by slowly, anyways I'm really grateful for a beautiful day, for another day that God has granted us, guys, always be grateful for life, be grateful for life, and this chaos is left in this chaos guys, that's why even if they had not given us bad food even if the food would have been good i would not have spent another night here because it was very noisy the the cars moving at night hey kampala kampala man <laughs> so guys let's go out there and look for breakfast first impressions of kampala that is how kampala is treating me right now so guys we are in the street space now. We are looking for a place we can have breakfast and all that. And these are the streets of Kampala.
Kampala has a lot of like a lot of motorcycles. I'm telling you guys, has a lot of motorcycles, and it's kind of chilly. Not like when we were in Ginger. It's kind of chilly, but not that much. Not that much. Like if Nairobi was like this right now, it would be very very cold. So we were actually going the wrong way. Like, we want to go to town. Town is. You need to go this way, but you are going this way, so it's really crazy, it's so crazy being in a new place, oh my god. Crossing the road here is crazy, like, oh my god, the cars won't stop for you. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, crossing the road here. Another story. Story, story. <laughs> I went out to the streets of Kampala and okay, I will start from the moment that I arrived here. One thing that I realized about Kampala, it's very chaotic. It's it's really chaotic when it comes to how how the cars move, how the motorcycles move, especially during the evening. There are so many, there are really so many, like even you know they say motorcycles can get you through traffic very quickly but in Kampala there are so many in the sense that even the motorcycles are in the traffic themselves and when crossing the roads if you if you're not careful like i don't know like they can pass with you you have to be careful when crossing the roads otherwise apart from that Kampala is really beautiful. It has beautiful infra infrastructure. I just love it. It really exceeded my expectations when it comes to the infrastructure and everything. And yeah, I felt like the, the people are just like the ones in Nairobi. Like, you know how Nairobi is fast paced. I felt like Kampala is the same. Only that it's more chaotic than Nairobi. I'm telling you. <laughs> Also, another thing that you'll notice when you come to Kampala is that there's a lot of bicycles on the road. You know, in Nairobi, I don't know if bicycles are, are allowed on the road, especially in the CBD. But in Kampala, you'll find so many bicycles. Even some of them are carrying people. And another thing that you'll notice is that Kampala, some... Like most of the streets are really clean. I have not gone to the market yet. I, I need to go there because the best way to discover a place, how people interact is the market. You need to go to the market. So we will go there and see. We will go there and see. Guys, it's confirmed. This, this is really fresh. It's fresh. Actually, I like it. I can feel it because... I eat meat a lot, so I know when it's fresh or not. So this is good. It's good. Honestly, I love it. Maybe that hotel was one, one rotten. What can I say? The hotel that gave us rotten meat. It's one rotten tomato in a full sack of tomato. That is what I can say. This is good. I love it. So guys, hey guys. So we're going to check in in another hotel. This is where we've been staying. This, this is where we slept. The Galaxy Motel, as you can see. We want to go and check in in another motel. In another B and B or something. We have our motorcycle guy here helping us. And me, and me. No, we will go with him. Yeah. We'll just go with him. We call him. Me. But this one we call him, he was with us in the morning. Maybe another time. Okay, don't worry. Thank you, bro. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, thank you. So, guys, okay, this is where we slept, but we can't continue staying here because I don't know, maybe we got the bad side of the bread. 
The manager is very unreasonable here. <laughs> Let me put my phone here. You could have... What about this one? Are oh, you going to put it here? Okay. Hey, it's very heavy. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next hotel. Guys, you can't even imagine how happy I am. We found a perfect place to stay and we can cook from here. You can see we have a living room. For the first time in Uganda, we've gotten a smart TV. We'll be able to watch content creators. Like, I'm so happy that I'll be able to cook food from here. The kitchen is clean. I'm really tired of eating hotel food, especially after that bad, bad experience. My stomach right now, I still feel very stuffed. Like, you feel like your stomach needs to get rid of something. That's how I feel right now. So, we've put a, an X to buying food. We'll buy our, we'll cook our own food. Oh my God. This is a room. This is where we will be sleeping. Then we have the washroom. Oh. Hey. Oh, wow. I just love this place. I don't know why we had not seen it from the first time we got here. So um our host is going to show us where to buy stuff. We go. But that motorcycle guy, imagine he has, he, he was trying to, like we had agreed 10,000 up to here. And the moment we get here is like, I want 20,000, your bags are too heavy. And we refused. Then this how is just, it looks like someone you feel, you feel bad for. So I felt bad and I was like, let me add you 2,000 for the bags. Then come in here, even the... The guy, like our host, is telling us that guy has, even with the bugs, he has overcharged us. Oh my god, but we, hey, the first time, Ugandan people, when they realize you are new, they will overcharge you. Let's go. We are going to, oh my god, I really miss eating good food, like fresh food. I want to eat ugali and eggs, cook eggs or something like that. I just and some greens. Ugandans, most of them don't serve it for the green veggies, so I really miss eating green veggies. I don't know how I will get to make my stomach better. Maybe I should take warm water and salt. It feels so stuffed. Like I feel like some things need to go up. Is there a key that we need? But I really love the place, honestly. Like I feel like this. Today we've only managed to shoot one video because we were really stressed. We've only managed to shoot one video. So we'll go get some shopping, hoping we'll be able to shoot at least another, vi at least one, at least one. So we can have two videos for today. We usually say at least a day, two videos. But even right now I'm shooting, right? So that means I've shot, we have shot too. That's the key over there. Okay. Security. Yeah, the security is good. Hmm. So this place is called Bukot, Bukoto, right? Guys, okay, and it's not expensive to get to town. Just 3000 So guys, this is where we are staying. Do you want to shoot video? Mukiongiana machacha.
Okay, they love the neighborhood. And yeah, at least today, once we come back, um, I hope we'll be able to shoot one more video. One more, one more. And maybe visit, at least visit a place. Like maybe the Kasubi, Kasubi Tombs. Yeah. So our host actually is not the host, he's like the caretaker. The host is not around, we were just communicating with the phone. We want to show us. <laughs> yeah, like it's been so stressful. The highlight is eating rotten food, man. <laughs> that was just crazy. Coming to Kampari, Hey. I wish you could get this house this time. Yeah. It's very nice. Like, you feel like you are at home. Yeah. And we need that to actually even be be able to get creative and see what Kampala we won't be here for long we'll not be here for long but guys let's see how things go uh -huh. to Nairobi to Nairobi it was 4,000 4,000 Kenyan shillings that's like 90,000 <laughs> For Uganda. For Uganda. Yeah. Four thousand times twenty three. Ugandan money. Ninety two. Ninety two thousand. Is it expensive? No, not expensive. <laughs> Have you been to Kenya? Have you been to Kenya? Sorry? Have you been to Kenya? So I'm planning to go there to visit my sister. Oh there. she's married. Yeah, she's married there. Oh wow. Where is she which tribe is she married to? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So oh you want to you want to go to shop. Just shop, eh? Yeah. See, like do both. There's no need to go and come back again. <laughs> Yes, the neighborhood is really nice. I wish we could have known this place yesterday. Look at it. This place is called Kotong Tinda. Because Tinda is the other side. So oh! This area, the whole of this area to there. Tinda is the place that Stella will never stay. Tinda look like this? No, Tinda is it is a part of town, eh? Oh, it's town. Yeah, it's town. This yeah, it looks like. No, it looks like this. But mm -hmm. yeah, some people can there a business. Cool. It shows. Yeah. So. So in Tinder is kind of noisy. Yeah, Tinder. Eh? Yeah. It's just. There, just one. Oh, it's nearer to town. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we were looking for that place, but we thought it's fun. <laughs> hey, we knew in a place. It's crazy. Guys, once we get to the supermarket, I'll turn on the camera. Bye bye. Guys, these are like the local shops around here and here he has sold us it's where you get boda boda they even have selling clothes seki moine is this like a a rich neighborhood sir is it like a rich neighborhood here yeah. Yeah. oh and Tinder, Tinder is also, yeah. it's also rich. Yeah. Bug, no. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> we left the money in the house. Hey. Oh God, we've left the bag. Yeah, we left. So can Not I wait for you from there? You will wait for us. Yeah, I wait for you. From where? There is a food there. There. Yeah. Okay. On the left hand side. 
so you are going to find it there. Okay, let's go and take the bag, then come. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, so apparently we left the bag. I don't know if it's because we are so tired. Hey, tired and, and excited at the same time. Yeah, excited. We have come this way, right? Some chips. Oh, they are cooking some chips, French fries. Guys, hey, traveling sometimes on the first day, it's always stressful for us. I don't know why. Always stressful, but it's okay. God is with us always. Let's go get the money, then come back. Guys, we've just gotten our bags. I'm eating my airport and I'm just imagining how nice this place is. And I can't fathom that the fact that this place is the one that we slept at last night in this place, the price is just almost the same. That one was 22, here it's 23, $23. A difference, I think they get a difference of just $1. <laughs> you can't even imagine like the quality, the difference in quality of services. And do you know that that's the reason I even decided like that girl who, who is managing there, she had told us 44, oh not 44, 24 dollars. And in the app, it clearly shows it's 22. And we are like, what are you talking about? She's like, you booked the wrong way. Then I canceled the booking and I booked it again. Like from the moment we got there, we did not just, we did not have a good, good energy with that girl. I think that's why everything turned out so bad. Like we're just disappointed, but it's life, you know. But God always shows you a place where you can send, where you can stay. Like he shows, he reveals those energies early enough. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I am so grateful to God to for showing us this this place. Just amazing. I'm so happy to be here. Guys, we are almost there. Almost getting to the supermarket. We've decided to go to the supermarket. Can I ask you what is one advice you would give someone who is in Uganda, coming to Uganda for the first time? Yeah, advise me, like tell me something I should know when moving around here. Moving around, eh? Yeah. Place. Yeah. Uh, you feel free, right? When you are moving. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just feel free. Yeah. Okay. I hope we'll find Uganda that is that is like that of Kenya. Yeah. The Ugali. Yeah. So guys we are approaching of got into the main road hey this way okay oh saint catherine bukoto okay this is like the main road but why don't they where is there is no like pen Syrian lane? Sailors. They don't build a, a place for people to pass on the road. Hey, but here you can get it. Okay, it's not the main road. And don't as a bongo, guys. See the road, you can get hit. We are crossing. Okay. There are so many. Okay. It's really hard to pass. 
Guys, it's really hard to cross the road. They pass at so many. Hey, these ones will pass with you. Why don't we go? Hmm. He's waiting for us to pass. Even him. Hey, man. We've passed. <laughs> it's a relief to be on this other side. <laughs> Look at this dress, it's so cute. Guys, let's get to the supermarket. Here yeah, the supermarket and uh, look at these eggs, they are so white. They look like they are manufactured. As we, we are used to these ones. These are not plastic eggs. No, hey, me. Guys, have you ever seen these kind of eggs? They're so white. Me, I can't trust them, honestly. <laughs> so just take the normal one. Let's look for ugali flour and cook it well. And greens. We've not eaten greens for so long. Cooking oil. Cooking oil. Where is it? Guys, well with Silas here, helping us. We need the small one. We don't want big. Just small. <laughs> this is the smallest, smallest, smallest. You know, the good thing with it is that we can carry it even to another country. Hey, cooking is, is cheaper than buying food. This is 6,000 and this one, it's the same. And this one is the same? Yeah, it's the same. You like this one? Let me see. Kiki chupa kiake kina ka fani. And we now need ugali, ugali flour. Yeah. Okay, we have decided to be cooking. We better be carrying those things. Supreme. Oh my god, look at the ugali fly, it looks so different. No, this is not ugali, this is millet. Will we finish? Always. It's 2 kg, there's no 1 kg. There's no 1 kg. Excuse? Soya rice. Uganda. Rice flour. I've never seen rice flour. Soya rice. Can it cook chapati? This one. Can it cook chapati? Yes. It's just. What does it cook? Yeah. Yeah, the rice just flour. Like, like porridge. Eh? Porridge. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's that? Rice flour. Rice flour. Mm. What I've never seen this in my entire life. Though you know when we were in Kuna time to Lenda Tanzania na nani Kim tukakula zinaitwa aje mahamri mahamri za za hiyo rice flour chai oh yeah chai I missed it where do we get milk and milk? Yeah, milk. Do you have also tea leaves? You know, it's just easy. Isn't it? Isn't it? cheaper? Kuliko zile za karatasi. Which one is the cheapest? Yeah, zile ndio cheap. Imagine. Unaona hizi za karatasi ngumu ndizo zinakwanga expensive. Easy. Pani is this cream or milk? Is it cream? Not milk. Milk. But why have they written cream here? Fully cream like like si kuna ina cream yake ile maziwa. Oh, so they they manufactured it with the cream. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Right. And tea leaves. Yeah. Can we get the like we can we get the Kenyan tea leaves? The Kenyan one. Maybe we ask Are you working here? No. You have the uniform like no. them. You can ask me. We're looking for the tea leaves. The Kenyan tea leaves. Yeah, that's safe. Okay. At this Kenyan, isn't it niti bugged? This is smaller than this. It's this. I feel I see it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, but at oh, least this is the same. It's the same. 50. It's the same. Wait. 50. They have the same 50 tea bags, but this one looks bigger. Which is bigger? But they have 50 sachets. Huh? How about in terms of size? Is it? In, oh, in terms of size. Mm. This one is okay for us. We don't want big. Hey, my journey is also quite different. Guys, this is Kenyan. This is too big, honestly, but we'll take it. See, to search quite like it. What is this? What is it? Is it beer or what? Gee. Oh. Gee, gee, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Guys, what is this? It's called like that local gee. Okay. Square. You have a meeting in a but to keep by it Arabic, unless we buy tomorrow, because we won't cook it today. There's no spinach. I don't want to kill. What's this? They don't have spinach. Okay. Okay, it's another culture show. Hey, this music, music. Another culture show. Like when you get out of a supermarket in Uganda, there's a man at the at the door checking your receipt, and sometimes they even check your shopping to ensure that what's in the receipt is what you you have bought. Like in Kenya, you just buy and just get out. Like it's just so crazy. <laughs> but we learn every day. Yeah, guys. Just surprising and shocking. Guys, we just. Hey, 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 my hair, my hair, my hair. Oh my god. I'm now ugly in peace. <laughs> Guys, look at my hair. I already cut it. It's cut. Hey, don't look at me like that. Anyways, we just got back. Um, this is actually Kenyan tea. I wanted something so Kenya actually miss home i miss kenya like coming to uganda has made me appreciate my country a lot even those little things that i usually don't appreciate right now i appreciate them i miss my country i love kenya i love you so much uganda is beautiful but oh my god i missed kenyan tea <laughs> i really missed it so i will be cooking tea that's the first thing this is a gas cylinder over here so that's tea over there and once it's ready actually i should put the tea bags so guys if i am to travel to another place i'll just carry my tea bags i've realized 
you know when we were in Mombasa we thought that cooking is expensive because we were like buy cooking oil but I don't know it never ran that we could actually be carrying those things hey let me see how it is like even if we are traveling to another place we will just carry those things and cook cook hey buying food no I've learned my lesson because of that rotten food and the fact that it was too expensive and rotten I will never forget that experience. Thank you so much guys for watching. Uganda is nice. It's a very good country. Like especially after coming to this neighborhood. Like I'm so excited to tour. I hope to tour some places and to see some places. It feels like home here. It's so chilled out. I love quiet places. I love nature but noisy places for me it's a no i want to feel like i'm home thank you so much for watching i love you guys continue being kind not just to to everyone else but to yourself be kind to your body treat yourself with love because you deserve it bye bye guys i love you so much bye bye